so here we are with our olympiad challenge 3 this is a multi conceptual problem now why it's a multi conceptual problem it's a multi conceptual problem because at first if we just read the question we would not get any direct idea that how should we approach this question so we need to think few steps and finally we will get the approach and while well, solving the question we will encounter two concepts of combinatorics or permutation and combination which is circular permutation and grouping method so these are the two concepts which we need to solve this question now this question is very interestingly was asked in two very famous olympiad examinations one is the aim examination which is held in america and another is also hmmt harvard mit mathematical tournament so this question in aime probably the, the data was different but the question was same and this question is directly from this question is directly from hmmt and in aime only the data was changed so let us discuss this question eight celebrities meet at a party it is so happens that each celebrity shakes hand with exactly two other that is what we need to specify with exactly two others a fan makes a list of all unordered pair of celebrities when we say unordered pairs see unordered pair means a a comma b and b comma a if i say that these are ordered pair then these are distinct but in case of unordered pair they are same in case of unordered pair they are the same entities they are the same entities that is order doesn't matter so another important information is that that order doesn't matter unordered pair of celebrities who shook hands with each other if order does not matter how many different lists are possible now how do you get the idea of solving the problem each pupil suppose this is man one can shook hands with three people with two people two other people say man two this is they are shaking their hands and with man three so the minimum number of people which are required in a group okay so that each people can shook hand with each people can shook hand with two others is three now in this arrangement one thing we can see that man one is shaking hand with man two okay when three people are there man one is shaking hand with man two man one is shaking hand with man three so man one makes man one makes two handshake criteria is satisfied but what about man three and man two here man three and man two are only shaking hand with man one so only one handshake so they are again shaking hand with each other they are also again shaking hand with each other if we clearly write draw the diagram now if we clearly draw the diagram man one man two man three they are shaking hands they are also shaking hands so this can be arranged in a kind of circle so here comes the idea of circular permutation we will discuss it in detail So clearly the minimum number of people required to perform this task is 3. Now we have a total of 8 people. Now 8 people can be grouped into groups of 8. Okay, 8 people. Since minimum number we can make groups of 3 and 5 and 4 and 4. Now when the question was given and in the poll the maximum number of students what they did they approached the question very correctly but their answer was corresponding to only this single case they didn't consider this case 
and that is why the options were given in such a way this question actually was a subjective question but when we set the options for this question we gave the options in such a way that there is a option when the students will consider only the case of eight people sitting in a circular arrangement but they didn't consider this three plus five and four plus four groups and here there is a possible case where we will do the mistake so this was one possibility of mistake now groups such as 2 plus 6 is not possible why groups such as 2 plus 6 is not possible because minimum number of people minimum number of people required to perform this task is 3 and here two people cannot perform this task that is two people can have make a maximum of one handshake with each other that's right so now we can see that we need to make groups of three and five groups groups of four and four so we need the idea of grouping so let us go for the first case let us go for the first case let us go for the first case Group of eight people. Number of possible grouping is one. Why one? Eight factorial by eight, eight factorial. That is how we group the people. That is one. Now let us suppose they sit on a circular table so that every person is surrounded by exactly two others. Hey, how do you arrive directly at the idea? Let us first think that they do not sit in circular table. What will happen? Okay. Suppose they sit in a straight line. This is a straight line. Okay. They sit in a straight line kind of arrangement and every red dots here indicates a person or a celebrity. Every red dot here indicates a celebrity who is sitting. Now we can see that this celebrity can shook hand with two people. That is correct. But the celebrities, when they sit in a straight line kind of arrangement, those who are sitting at the corners, cannot shook hand with two people they have only one option so i will say to fulfill the criteria that every person shakes hand with three person let them shake hand with each other in this case you can see that it is forming a closed curve so why not circular permutation that's the idea that how we are arriving first we divided the cases at that place we need grouping now we are arriving at the idea that how they can shake hand. If they are arranged in a straight line, person sitting in the corner can perform only one handshake. So it is not possible. This is the remark. Okay. Now let us go to the original solution. Now they are sitting in a circular table. Suppose this is person 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. This is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8. Now you rearrange the person. You rearrange the person to get all possibilities of performing a handshake. Okay. Rearrange the person. Now you'd say that yes, they can be rearranged in n minus 1 factorial because this is the formula for circular permutation. But no, this is not the case here. This is not the case here. Some would say the answer is 7 factorial here. But this is not the case. Why? Let us. When the persons are seating, let us consider four persons so that it will be easy for us to understand. Here, the arrangement is anti clockwise. Here, the arrangement is clockwise. We can clearly see that person one shook hand with one and two, person one shook hand with one and four. In anti clockwise arrangement, in anti clockwise arrangement, one shook hand with one shook hand with two, one shook hand with four, okay, shakes hand with four. What I'm saying, shook. In the clockwise arrangement, also one shakes hand with two and one shakes hand with four. So these are same. So here, clockwise and anti clockwise arrangement doesn't matter. So we will divide the number. We'll divide the number n minus 1 factorial by 2. 
so that's again a point where we can perform a, a mistake so the number of persons here every person can perform two handshake number of possible arrangement or number of ways you can say is 8 minus 1 factorial by 2 which is 2520 now now let us go for the case of 3 plus 5 when there are we are now dividing at this case in this case in this first case we are taking all the eight persons sitting in a circular chair now we are taking three person and five person so first let us group the three person and five person in how many ways three person and five person can be grouped in how many ways three person and five person can be grouped very simple 8 factorial divided by 3 factorial 5 factorial this is how we perform grouping 8 factorial by 3 factorial 5 factorial now there are two circles in one circle five people are sitting and another circle three people are sitting the different arrangement of people here would be 4 factorial by 2 and minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 factorial and 3 minus 2 3 minus 1 factorial by 2 3 minus 1 factorial by 2, which is written here 5 minus 1 factorial by 2, 3 minus 1 factorial by 2, which gives us 372. Now let us go for case 4. Case 4 is quite critical. Why? Because this is a special case of grouping. If you have the basic idea of grouping, you know that when equal groups are made, when equal groups are made, say 8 factorial by 4 factorial. 4 factorial okay it is divided by 2 factorial now in case uh, let us go for a little bit of more clarification those who not know 9 people are there 9 people are there divided into groups of 3 so what we will do 9 factorial by 3 factorial cube and how many groups? 3 groups are there, so we will divide by 3 factorial again. Another example, uh, let us take uh, the example, a critical one, uh, 20 people, yeah, 20 people into groups of 5 each. How many ways they can be grouped? 20 factorial by 5 factorial whole to the power 4. And there are 4 groups, so we will divide by 4 factorial. Now there is also a special case of grouping. When the arrangement of groups matter, when the arrangement of groups matter, at that time we will not consider this 4 factorial. And well, that's a different story, that's the concept of grouping when not going into the detail of grouping. that is a prerequisite for this problem because this is a very nice problem so in case 3 when we are taking group of 4 and 4 people, this is nothing else but h choose 4 this is nothing else but h choose 4 h choose 4 whole divided by 2 now there are two circles in which 4 people are sitting so circular permutation of 4 people 4 minus 1 factorial by 2, 4 minus 1 factorial by 2. This gives us 315. Possible calculation mistake that also I have written here. That most of you will get the answer is 630. Why? Because it is very frequently observed that people generally forgot this 2 factorial. People generally forgot this 2 factorial. And there's the possible calculation. That's the possible calculation mistake. So you'd get here 630. Okay. So this is wrong answer you can write in your copy while you are writing the solution and can cut it so that you will be able to recognize that yeah this is a possible calculation mistake now add up all the three cases you would get 3507 as the answer but unfortunately when we conducted the poll maximum answer was given for this option 2520 they didn't got the idea that yes there are other cases which are also possible so this was 
a very good question in which we have seen a very beautiful application of circular permutation and these are some questions which can be asked in PRMO because circular permutation is such kind of concept which is not very frequently asked and that's why I feel that this is a very relevant question. So few other problems based on the idea of handshake. This is from 2011 American Mathematical Contest. Another question from the CMI entrance exam, the entrance, in, entrance exam for Chennai Mathematical Institute. This is also a very nice question on hands. Not very nice, but oh, that's a good question. Uh, let me add another original question here. That is the question that I have proposed. Uh, In how many ways? Uh, just a minute. This is again our original question. In how many ways? Three pearls and 18 diamonds can be arranged in a circular chain. Uh, this question is also quite interesting because uh, when you will be solving this question, you will get few criteria. First, at first glance, it looks like as if it's a question from circular permutation, but it is not. It is not a question from circular permutation, and that is the only hint we can give at this point of time. Uh, let me add it for Olympia Challenge 4 so that we can also propose the solution.
this is a olympiad challenge problem 4 in how many ways three pearls and 18 diamonds can be arranged in a circular chain pearls are similar diamonds are also similar so this is again a good question we'll also say the reason that why it's a good question while solving the question in the next olympiad challenge